How are we doing today? How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully you're having a blessed day. You know, a lot of us come out here, we've been coming out here for over a year now. We come down here, we take the bus, see if we can get a discount on something. It's actually people down here for the last couple of years, they actually come down here and buy drugs and it just breaks my heart that they would come down here and buy drugs. You know, the thing is, guys, that this is a very important message. I'm out here in love, because when you put your head on your pillow tonight, 150,000 people die every day. We're all going to stand before God. One day we have a point before God. It doesn't matter what color, white, brown, black, Latin, Italian. We're all going to go before God. One day we have appointment before a holy, righteous God. So a lot of people I speak to, they say, you know what? I feel if I would die, I'm right with God. Meanwhile, the person that they wake up with each morning is not their husband or their wife. Yeah, woman. But the Bible says, do not be deceived. No fornicator will enter heaven. So are you really right with God? And what is God's standard to see if you're right with God? God has a standard. I want you to examine yourself today to see if you will be right before God on Judgment Day. And this is God's standard, not my standard. It's called the Ten Commandments. So please take time and examine yourself to see if you're really good enough to go to heaven. The Ninth Commandment is thou shalt not lie. If we've lied one time, mentiroso, one uno mentiroso, God would see us as a liar. Uno, uno mentiroso, one lie. If we stole something, the Eighth Commandment, God would see us as a thief. If hey, you're honest with yourself, you'd say, yeah, I did that before. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago I used to steal. Hey, yeah. So that's like going before a judge and saying, judge, uh, you know, yeah, well, man. that was a long time ago I was breaking into houses. The judge is going to say, you broke the law, you'll pay the fine. Time will not pay for the crime. Time will not pay for the crime. Because the God of the universe is holy. The Bible says everything you've done in the dark will yeah, be well, shown God. in the light. So you'll be standing before hey, a holy God. God. Each one of us will give account of our life. And will be guilty. If you've lied, God would see you as a liar. If you stole something, you'd be a thief before a holy God. Now the third commandment is, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. You know, I can walk up and down Newark, New York City, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, and I always hear somebody take God's name in vain. I mean, we don't take our mother's name in vain. We don't take our father's name in vain. But when we take the God of the universe, the Bible says it's a gift from God. Air in our lungs, God holds our breath in His hand. So each day is a gift from God. And what do we do? We take God's name in vain. The Bible says, Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Actually, the Bible says you'll be held accountable on that day you stand before God for taking His name in vain. If you're honest with yourself, by those standards, you'd have to say, there's no way I'm going to get into heaven. I've lied, I've stole, put God's name in vain. Now, Jesus said, thou shalt not commit adultery. Many people will say, I've never committed adultery. But Jesus said, if you look at someone to love after them, you have adultery in your heart. You know, a lot of people I hear boast about looking at pornography. Just imagine a couple in their room at night, somebody looking in the window. You'd probably say, that's a pervert. Well, that's you if you're looking at pornography. If you're looking at pornography, that's what God sees. The Bible says no fornicator, no adulterer went to heaven. So we're all going to be guilty before that day we stand before God. There you go. Yeah, woman. The Bible says, do not be deceived. No drunkard, no thief, no liar will enter heaven. Hello, you got if one? that is the case, I would say to myself, there's no way I can enter heaven. I broke the law. I broke all of God's laws. God is holy, righteous, and just. I can't stand before God on Judgment Day. I have a real big problem. A really big problem when I stand before God. If God, the Bible is true, that everything you've done in the dark will be shown in the light on Judgment Day. You'll be bare and naked standing before the God of the universe. You're going to be guilty. But see, God did something amazing 2,000 years ago. He 
sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to pay for your sin with his blood. So you could be innocent before a holy, righteous God. What you need to do is you need to repent and call on Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can take the wrath of God on Judgment Day for your sin. So you'd be innocent before God. You know, if you're in a lifestyle that's offensive to God, you need to get on your knees and repent and ask God for help. The Bible says, do not be deceived. No homosexual will enter the gates of heaven. No homosexual. This is not my word. This is God's word. But Jesus Hello. can break you of that bondage. He can you break you of that bondage. Because your soul is so precious. Your soul is so precious. Don't sell your soul for getting drunk, homosexuality, for lying and stealing. Because you will spend eternity in hell forever and ever Hello. and ever. There are no weekends off for good behavior in hell. It's forever and ever and ever. And ever. Hello. I mean, it's not worth it. Don't sell your soul for nothing. Hey, boss. The Bible says if you're in that lifestyle, you sold your soul for sin. And you're going to be in it, you're going to be guilty before God on Judgment Day. Hi. So I come out of you, you know, you probably say, why do you keep talking about that? You know, I'm going to warn you about the things that lead you to hell because I don't want nobody to go to hell. But Satan is a deceiver. The Bible says that Satan is a roaring lion looking to see what he can devour. He's got tricks up his sleeve. He wants you coming down here in Newark to buy dope. He wants you shooting heroin in your arm. He hates you. He wants you in jail. He wants your soul in hell. The good news is Jesus came to set the captives free. He came. Get on your knees and call to Jesus today. And he can break any bondage you're in. If you're in bondage to alcohol, homosexuality, having premarital sex, Looking at pornography. If you truly sincere, ask God to break that bondage. And He can do that through His Son and Jesus Christ. To break any bondage you're in. Get on your knees and call out to Him today. Repent. You can have everlasting life through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, do not reject the good news today. The Bible says, nor is there salvation in any other. There's no name under heaven given among men. And which you must be saved, except through Jesus Christ. Oh, please, my prayers. My brother over here, we pray that you would repent. Amen. Call on Jesus today. To spend eternity, have a relation with the Creator. Because when it's all said and done with, 150 years from now, this will be nothing. We'll be all for eternity. We'll be in heaven or hell. I get one, man. It's either you pay for your sins in hell, or the blood of Jesus pays for your sins. But God is holy, righteous, and just. Just like that civil court judge. If he's a righteous judge, he's not going to look the other way. He's either going to send you or find you. Same thing with the God of the universe. Hey, boss. You will have to pay for your sins in hell forever. Don't reject the good news of Jesus Christ. One for you too, man. Bible says without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Moses said, the blood is told for the soul. The only thing God will accept for your sins hey is blood sacrifice. That's why John says, look the lamb that come take away the sins of the world. Oh, Jesus took the wrath for your sin on the cross. So you can stand before God on judgment day. Hey, God, get one. The good news is call on Jesus and repent. Call on Jesus today. If you're hearing the good news, if you have ears to hear, do not reject the good news of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Hey, not only that, he told them, if you destroyed his body, I'll rebuild it. Hey, Jesus came out of the grave Hello. on the third day. Nobody's done that. Not Muhammad, not Buddha. My friends, over 500 eyewitness accounts for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Not only that, he willingly took the wrath of God for your sins on the cross so you can stand before God on Judgment Day. Call on him today to break that bondage. Break that bondage of alcohol, drugs. Hey, ladies, you got one? If you're having premarital yeah. sex, you're selling your soul for sin. You got one? You yeah, need yeah. to repent. If you're a woman, you need to dress hey, modest. You, you don't have to dress half naked. That's what Satan wants you. Put some clothes on and dress like a woman. Dress modest. 